Alright guys, what is going on? Captain Namco here, let me scoot over so y'all can see me here. I hope everybody is having a great afternoon so far. So, so what we're going to do is discuss how to uh, replace your uh, the top part of your handle if it goes, but should it go bad. I've got a spare handle I can show you what I'm talking about. See, in this case, this one here, he is really loose. You can tell it. But this handle is held on by a screw. So, I can demonstrate that right quick for you. Sorry about the dogs barking. So, what we're going to do. I'll show you. See what I mean? It all comes off. Now, I'm going to pop this out. And this is how you'll get it shipped. This is what you'll need to do when you ship a Kirby. But also, and I'll show you, the hole is right here on the side of the handle. So we're going to put the handle back on. Make sure you have it on there nice and tight. And that's why this handle is so loose. Now usually, well the, sc the screw is stripped out, or the, the whole entire, entire handle could be bad too. Voila! And that's how you fix a handle too. If you're taught the handle ever, ever comes loose on your Kirby, it's always very crucial to check this, this screw right here where your cord's at. See now this this uh, handle's not loose. Neither is the top of the handle. And of course, with a lot of older Kirby's over time, that spring starts to wear out. So you're gonna still you're gonna have a little bit of play in that handle. But if you get a lot of play, like I said, you want to make sure they stay tight. And I hope that um, really helps out you guys figuring out what your issue is with this upper half of your handle here. With that being said. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like. Uh, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you guys have not done so already. Turn on a postpone notification icon for videos like this, claw machine videos, or even cold start videos. Now, I have not been doing a whole lot of claw videos this year because money is tight, so. I have not been doing a lot, you know, so far anyway. I just do them when I can. Um. But anyway, the next video I will be doing, it will be a shout out video when I do get the chance to play a claw machine again. So, be uh, watching my channel for that. And also, be checking out my awesome videos on my Kirby Generation 3 that I added. This is a vacuum I recently added. I just added this to my collection yesterday. So I now have a total of six Kirbys now. And, I'll be hoping to add a G5 to my collection, a Century 2, um, what else is there? 
Oh yeah, so Kirby G6 from 1999. I've got 2000 limited edition. So I can just get another handle for that. And get me an actual true heritage too because this one here, the one I got, is actually a uh, heritage one I believe because it came out in 1984. Um, and then eventually hopefully get the Avaliers and get me a Kirby Classic 3. Um, and get me a Kirby Legend 2. So I stick around for that. And be watching my Kirby collection grow as we continue this journey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching.